Okay, let's go ahead and start with some drill video from the practice field. We're looking at a left outside backer, left defensive end, basically a right offensive tackle or right tight end if we're just reading one guy. So we're going to go ahead and make these reads off of this uh, offensive blocker's block onto our defensive end and make our reads accordingly. Okay, so if we get down block, that means the defensive end is condensing inside, so we have to condense inside. We're going to start uh, condensing our 5x5, five five, do about a 3x3, three three, and keep on coming as the play develops. Okay, we get a pass block. We're going to immediately go into our pass drop, 45-degree angle. If we had a number two on us, we'd backpedal first before we did it. No number two on us, we drop immediately to it. We get reach block, now we're going to get width. And again, I'd like Jesse to get to the line of scrimmage too. The reason we're not having him get to the line of scrimmage too fast is because this still could be a rollout. It's not a guarantee that this is a run. So if we saw the running back handing the ball off, or the quarterback handing the ball to the running back as we got this, now Jesse would go ahead and get to the line of scrimmage. But as long as it's a reach block without a cue in the backfield that it's pass, we're going to go pass or run, we're going to go ahead and keep our depth. But again, what the main thing is, is we're keeping our width the entire time from the defensive end. Okay, pass, up, oh, and then he read draw or screen. Great job. So he's got, you always got to keep them on their P's and Q's on the pass drop and make, throw you a screen or a draw in there every once in a while. Good job replacing his steps. Got inside reach, so we're going to definitely keep our depth. We're going to get the five-by stack, which means we're going to shuffle inside, trying to stack our defensive end, and look for CBR, counter bootleg reverse. All right, good job. Now we got pull away. He has to make sure that we do backside CBR, but think quarterback bootleg. Quarterback bootleg is the thing that can hurt him the most, okay, because he has to still pass drop. Great job. Defensive end contains the quarterback. He pass drops. If this was a true pull and not an influence pull, he would continue shuffling like he did on the previous uh, slide. Okay, now base block. And again, this is base block where we're talking about a fastball run play. i really rather Jesse condense down inside before he gets to the line of scrimmage. Because to me, the ball can still hit here, and that's too wide of an alley that he's allowing. So out of all these, he did a really good job. It was pretty much mistake-free, where on this one, he fastballed it too much. Okay, if that was a reach block with a run cue, I'd say that's fine. Okay, but it's not. It's a base block. So he really should be right there where my laser pointer is, as opposed to up there. Okay, now we're going to do uh, blocking combinations with a number two receiver. Our coach with the bag is simulating a number two receiver. Now, if Jesse can beat the number two receiver to his point of attack, he beats him. If not, he has to take him on. And he has to take him on with a contained angle. So he gets a down block, which is going to bring him inside, but he has a receiver trying to reach him. So he wants to bench press him and make sure that he keeps that outside leverage. Okay, now he does it with the same thing, but it looks like a toss sweep is coming at him. So he has to make sure that he keeps his width. Good job. We got reach block. We got the receiver trying to stock block him, push the receiver to the line of scrimmage, bench press him, and put him into a situation where he can still contain and still control. 